Hello, I'm Gus Casely Hayford and I am the director of the Victorian Albert Museum East. But I've crossed London to the V&A in South Kensington. I am so lucky. I have one of the best jobs in the world that I collect and we display and we protect some of the most valuable art in the world. Wonderful things that tell the story of human creativity across 5,000 years. And one of my favorite things I'm gonna talk about today, this glorious portrait of Melissa Thompson by the Nigerian-American artist, Kehinde Wiley. And you might be thinking, who is Melissa? She's meant to be someone who's just like the rest of us. If you wander into a museum or gallery and you see portraits, generally they are people who don't look like us. They are older, usually powerful people. And most of them happen to be white as well. Kahinde Wiley has painted dozens and dozens of portraits of people of colour. Barack Obama, leaders from across the world, but also portraits of people like you and I. And he met Melissa Thompson in a market in East London, wearing these very clothes. And he saw something in her that was special. Use the superpower of looking. Imagine what's going on in her head, in her life. Because that's what Kahinde Wiley wants us to do here. She's beautiful, but she's also confident. She looks directly at us. And look at what she's wearing. The sorts of clothes that you would expect any of us to wear. But they're also connected to the sorts of clothes that would be worn in traditional portrait painting. If you go into a big gallery, look at a big portrait and you'll see men, very powerful men. Usually they're wearing clothes that suggest their power. And look at her with her torn jeans. She doesn't care what we think. Around her neck, she has gold jewellery. It's not bling, it's just the things that connect her to the people that she loves. And we can see in that intimacy, someone who's like us. And on her wrist, can you see that little bangle with the word respect? And that's what this is about. The sorts of people who we usually forget, who portraiture usually forgets, who history usually forgets, that we need to respect them too. In many ways, it's, it's a very familiar painting because it looks like lots of other portraiture. That little stud in her ear, that sparkle that you see in lots of portraits, the way in which she's holding a hand that is almost reaching out a little towards us, the sheen on her jacket. It looks like silk, but we know that this is going to be a synthetic fabric, but she's wearing it in a way that makes her look every bit as stately as a king. And then around her, all of the tendrils of the wallpaper, that beautiful design that would have sat in the background has come to life. And those beautiful arcs of the leaves, which echo the tick of the Nike design on her shoes. Every single detail thought about but works together to make this really powerful single image of Melissa Thompson. That yellow, beautiful design that surrounds Melissa is actually taken from the work of William Morris. He was an artist and a designer who lived in the Victorian period and he created amazing wallpapers and furniture and all sorts of things that were in their time truly innovative. And that's what this portrait is in a way about. It's about giving someone who may not traditionally have been placed in a historical context, history. Many of the sorts of people that are immigrants to this country, whose heritage, whose history might not necessarily be connected to Britain, they have pasts that are important too. Melissa is looking at us, telling us confidently, I matter. And who's not gonna believe her 
when she looks like that. The sort of people who are usually forgotten, usually not part of history. How do we make them feel central? How do we use the superpower of looking to include rather than exclude? I think that's pretty important.